Hey YouTube, how the fuck are you guys doing today? So today uh, we got a little welding project on our hands, not a big one, uh, but we do got to modify and do some welding. So I thought I'd like to, you know, show you guys uh, the Miller Matic 255. This welder is fucking awesome. I love it. Uh, I got a couple videos coming up. Uh, this is going to be the MIG welding one. And then I'm going to show you guys how to TIG weld with it. Um, so uh, I got it on auto set because uh, really I feel like that's about the best fucking thing, uh, you know, to, to start with. You know, if you guys are out there learning how to weld, I recommend buying a welder, like a name brand welder. They just weld a lot better. Uh, the consumables are a lot easier to get and all that type of shit. You know, like Miller's been around for, I don't know, fuck, probably over 50 years, maybe longer. I don't know. Long fucking time. So they know what the fuck they're doing. Um, I really like this Millermatic machine, though. Um, so what we got is, I'll turn you around here. Um, one of the brackets that holds the mud flap on cracked. I welded it up before, but we are going to do some more super penetrating welding on it. And uh, kind of do some different stuff. So, uh, get you guys moved around here and uh, try this thing out. See how it goes. I got it set on uh, three sixteenths material. That's probably a little hot, but we're gonna start there because uh, uh, this stuff is a little thicker than eighth inch. The eighth inch, it just doesn't burn right. So uh, we get turned around here and show you guys what we're doing. Alrighty, here's where this piece is kind of cracked off here. So, we'll get this thing out, clean it up a little bit. Now we just want to hammer this over just a tad. Okay. We got that. Now uh, we'll get out our welder and uh, kind of see how this little. Oh, motherfucker. Well, working around all these lift axles and shit, it fucking sucks. Uh. All right, let's see if we can start laying some dimes here. All right, that looks like shit because we're a little fucking hot. Let's put it down to, Let's see what we got here. We lose it down to eighth inch, and then that motherfucker just hit me in the head again. God damn it! All right, that's where we want to be is the eighth inch there. Um, then we'll pull this off. All right, I was just using one of these little. Uh, Grip on clamps. These things work pretty cool. I got a whole bunch of these. All right, move this shit out of the way. All right. Now what we want to do is finish welding this. Now what we'll do is, uh, all right, so what I want to do to help stabilize this up is I'm going to bring you guys around to the front. All righty, so this thing likes to wiggle around because we're going to put um, this basket back on. So what I want to do is I want to weld this right here. So now we got to find this again. Yeah. 
move this up out of the way. See, it's hard to get into everything. this ground clamp off for a second. see that there we're gonna unenhance 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 alrighty uh, now what we'll do is we'll just come down here and uh, start welding this up on the outside of that there. Oh. oh yeah. Look at that. It, it's made that a lot better. Now let's move our, got to move our crown clamp around here to where we can find some good material. Alrighty, then we'll start up here. YouTube laying dimes now uh, MIG welding is very easy uh, to start laying dimes I mean any monkey can MIG weld uh, TIG welding takes a little bit more practice you know what I'm saying I'll get you let me let me get you let me show you that fucking motherfucker oh yeah enhance look at that Oh, that looks pretty good. I got a little quick there in the middle, you can see, but uh, what we can tell is this is a lot more sturdy. It's not bouncing around. Uh, we got a lot more material on there. All right, let me come back over here. I got this. We got that welded up pretty good. Uh, now all the guy's gonna do is you gotta bolt the box back on there. But as you can see, got that welded up nice. 
uh, really like unenhanced. I really like this uh, Millermatic welder. Yeah, so uh, I'm using 035 wire. Um, I have 045, but lately I've been kind of running 035. This is the presets. So what this is set up is it'll get you close. And then you can kind of like fine tune it, you know, uh, so much this way and so much this way. Um, what I found is, is that uh, sometimes if you want to speed the wire up a little bit, that helps, um, you know, also getting your heat right so you can go to, oh, what the fuck, you should be able to go to 3 16 that's where we started, we were a little hot, you can go to quarter inch, uh, you can go to 5 16 3 8 in half, um, also, you could go to different steels. So this is mild steel. Um, you can also mild steel 100. That's just a little bit harder material. Uh, and it tells you what gas to use. Uh, you can do some aluminum using argon. Uh, I've never tried that, but that's going to be cool. So you got aluminum 5X. Tells you, and also you can do stainless. So it tells you, uh, you know, what gas to use, use a tri-mix. It's pretty fucking cool. You can also use gas shielded flux core and you can use uh, self sheathing flux core. So it's got all that, but I really love this welder. Uh, it's came in handy around the shop, you know. And a lot of you guys probably wondered, you know, how much does this thing cost? Uh, I think I got it's about eight grand uh, once I bought all the stuff because I bought a longer uh, MIG gun for it. Um, I bought, you know, I just bought an upgraded MIG gun. This is a Bernard, not a Miller. Um, what it is is just uh, so I could reach farther. Um, I need to get a longer ground cable. That's the next thing. And you can also put it on uh, Pulse MIG. That'll really give you, you know, like if you're out there in the streets. You know, you can pulse MIG, pulse MIG stainless. So there's a whole bunch of different stuff, but we're going to use the pulse setting. Let me get that off. Then we turn the pulse off. There we go. So I got a water-cooled TIG torch and stuff like that. I'll show you that next time. But uh, that's that. Uh, so, you know, just a little welding project here. And that's fixed. Alrighty there, guys. Uh, that's pretty much it for the welding stuff. Uh, I fixed this once before. Hopefully we won't have to fix her ever again. But uh, like always, check out Instagram, Patreon, Facebook, all that bullshit. And like always, thanks for watching, and I gotta fucking go.